been a long day. Um, this is the only time we get to film. The 1000 challenge, uh, yesterday we did a raffle. Uh, how many Chris is going to draw today? Everybody's got children and you want to support them. If they, if they need support, you need that. Bernard is exactly there to do that and it's a fantastic charity. A lot of people don't always know what who Bernardo's is. Even though we're based in our local community, we still come across people who don't understand what we do. So for post offices to be able to publicise Bernardo's all across the country is just phenomenal because it reaches people that, you know, Bernardo's on their own couldn't reach. So it's, it really works well with both organisations working together. We've done over 240 miles now. Uh, when we stopped tonight, it was click, just over 240. And you sort of think, yeah, not bad, but uh, mm, 800 to go. The 1000 Challenge is absolutely fantastic for both the business and for Bernardo's. And to have something like, somebody like Chris with his background doing it is just absolutely brilliant news for both Bernardo's and Royal Mail. It's been absolutely brilliant to see how our employers have really embraced this. To see them coming out, whether it's collecting, whether it's giving money, to see them race alongside Chris, it's just great to be able to give something back. I can't begin to imagine myself even doing a hundredth of what Chris actually does. He's such an inspirational guy, he's such a fantastic person to have doing this. And, and the legacy of all of this is that people remember what Chris has done, people will talk about Bernardo, they'll speak about Chris, and hopefully this partnership will go from strength to strength. And from my point of view, if we can get some more young people some jobs out of this, that'll just be absolutely everything really worthwhile. I had a bit of an infection this morning, which I, with a little bit of advice, cured very, very quickly within an hour, got rid of it. And that's the key to doing this, is in, in my position, to actually work out what is happening, understand it and treat it immediately before it becomes a problem. We've spent the day cleaning cars, so I think we've done around about 20 or 30. We lost count around about car 15. Um, so we now have a lovely shiny car park. There's around about 200 people here, about 100 from Post Office Limited and 100 for Royal Mail. And it's been brilliant, there's so much stuff going on. For the last two months we've literally had something every day. We've had salsa dancing and um, various different kind of fundraising activities. So all of the, the um, publicity that there's been and the 1000 campaign as well has kept us all really switched on. You're bound to get some sort of stunt problems, but it's about learning how to prevent them and manage them and stop the blisters before they get too swollen on the stump. You do get all of those issues. And it's about running through the discomfort. Though I've got reasons much more important than me to do this. So I guess uh, I guess that's one, one reason to put one, uh, one foot in front of the other. About being on that journey with that young person, I think it's really important that you listen to what young people want and hear what they what they're asking you for, and help helping guide them within that. So I think outcomes are really hard to gauge, but I, in terms of the young people that move on from this project, there's no question that most of them, I would say 90%, end up with a positive outcome in some respect. No, I've, I've never had real room because I wish I had with my sister and that. But um, having my own, it's good because you know, I feel like safe in it and I can lock my door and that and know that no one is walking on me and stuff. It's good. I just think to have some sort of support from somebody like Chris and work in partnership, because partnership working is just massive, and to have the support from him has been amazing. I think we're so lucky. Even at this local level, you know, we feel the impact of Chris's involvement. You know, it's not just a national Bernardo's thing, it's, it's happening in this service in Bury, and it's important to us as, as Bernardo's staff.